I uh, want to talk about some stuff that uh, kind of relates to racism and uh, ultra-nationalism and stuff like that. Well, before I get into it and uh, talk about some of the stuff that's happening all around us uh, and uh, how it's damaging uh, business or uh, relations, I want to talk about the, the fact that in, in my religion, religion of Islam, strongly condemns uh, racism. Uh, there is uh, several verses in Quran and also sayings of Prophet Muhammad. Uh, I'm just going to go over them quickly because most uh, Muslim commentators or philosophers, they right away they get into this and uh, they, they go over all the verbiage, but uh, these, uh, these comments are, are from texts or cultures that are very old. And Western uh, societies, they have really a uh, tough time you know, uh, transporting these ideas, which is really about racism and about the, uh, the wealthy. Uh, they're the next most hated uh, groups uh, in many older civilizations they have trouble transporting that and translating it into their own uh, daily life uh, I just gonna go over some of the verses uh, one says uh, in the sight of God uh, uh, the best of you is the uh, most uh, Mutari means uh, fearful or, uh, or more reserved. Somebody has good morals. That's what it means. Uh, then there's another verse goes like this. Uh, God can give his favors upon any one of his servants. Which means uh, like God doesn't really believe in elitism or uh, you know, pampering the wealthy. Well, these verses... They, they were translated into daily life in many cultures. But uh, when you hear them first, kinda, uh, it's kind of hard to grasp well, what, what this author is talking about. Then uh, there is a saying by Prophet Muhammad. There is a word in Arabic. It's kind of a strange word, but it really means racism. Asap means like vein, like uh, uh, you know blood vein. But usually Asap means when the popping of the veins, like uh, when uh, Hitler was talking, all his veins were popping. You know, uh, <laughs> he was explaining his uh, preference for the German blood. But uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad said Asap will destroy the Arabs which means like racism, you know, love of your own skin will, will ruin the Arabs, which it has. And uh, Saudi Arabia has exported their Wahhabism and their, you know, elitism everywhere and uh, made the world a mess and now they're losing Idlib too. But usually when uh, significant politicians become is a racist like Trump or uh, like Modi in uh, Modi in uh, India or uh, uh, Slobodan uh, in uh, Yugoslavia and they do a few things it, 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 it results in the disintegration of that nation for example Yugoslavia broke apart became several nations, became Serbia, Herzegovina, became each one of the subgroup, they just kind of went their own way. Something bad happened and the whole place fell apart. Well, it is happening in India, but the Muslims, they really don't like uh, being the second class citizen. And uh, so, uh, is India going to disintegrate? It can. It, it, uh, you know, those uh, social cohesions, they're important. And when they fall apart, they, the place falls apart. The United States, 
uh, there is a palpable, you can tell, hostility towards uh, uh, the white minority, the white male that come around and claim to own the place. And they don't contribute anything to society except Star Wars in many countries and publish lots of money for themselves. And the United States has it worse because we have a, a really wealthy class, the 1%. They call them, that's the name they gave it to them. But in ancient cultures, uh, they, they had other names. They usually uh, was the illusion that these guys own a lot of gold, uh, or, the, or the wealthy, or the rich, or, or the bourgeoisie. That's a more European, but older world. Um, uh, the, uh, in Iran, they call them darbari. Darbar means like uh, being kind of like a cousin to the to the king, something like that. Uh, they are the, then the most hated groups, uh, and you hear about this in many historical accounts. And the stuff they do, it also results in disintegration of society, like the French Revolution or Iranian Revolution. Just society. One day people decide, hey, I don't want this, and it's not going to go on on my watch. It, it, it would be violent, and then uh, things just would completely change. Usually, like, the entire uh, culture changes, the, all the uh, laws, administrative laws, uh, everything changes and becomes like a Napole Napoleonic era. But they, they just rewrote everything. Even the uh, weights and measures change. They just dump the whole thing uh, that belonged to the uh, Louis the Fifteenth and uh, get on with our lives. Something like that. But it's interesting that the religion of Islam is, is not like other religion. It, it just totally condemns this stuff, Co totally condemns slavery, totally condemns uh, elitism, doesn't show a good face to the rich, uh, you know. Uh, then uh, many uh, significant uh, Muslim philosophers for example, I know uh, Sufi master and many other uh, spiritual teachers, they, they write the name Al-Faghir. Al-Faghir means the poor. Uh, blessed are the poor uh, in a spirit, in, in material things. They don't have all these uh, foul uh, uh, tendencies and vices. Okay, that's what it means. Uh, poverty is uh, was was uh, uh, cherished. Uh, Prophet Muhammad said, uh, uh, "My uh, I am proud of my poverty." And uh, when he he died, there was only one dinar in his possession. Like he did not value a lot of wealth. Uh, I don't know if I could. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could be happy just with one dinner getting out of here, but uh, I, I do like money, but uh, hey, uh, you can have a general philosophy that uh, not to dedicate your whole life to this shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, then uh, our countries that are uh, that uh, they don't have very good uh, you know, good uh, spirituality, like Christianity, like uh, Christianity as practiced by the Russians, or uh, Shia Islam, where it's tolerant of each other. Those countries, they just kind of fall apart. They, they will disintegrate. I, I expect that, I don't know, sometimes in the future, India will disintegrate into the Muslim and all Hindu, and I don't know, the Hindus, they, they have different races within themselves, they're each going to go their own way, become something like a Europe. 
uh, well, I think the United States is going to disintegrate uh, into several nations, the Sioux Nation, the Black Nation, the Spanish Nation. I don't know. I have a video called uh, The Case for California Independence. I don't know. At some point, when things fall apart, maybe some states that are doing better than others, they will just go on their own way. It might happen. Well, uh, this uh, stuff, this discussion is, is very old. Uh, many philosophers they have talked about this. Uh, but I, I, I think I'm just reiterating what Sufism and Islam or Iranian culture says. And uh, uh, I think our way is better. Our, our nation, Iranian nation, has been around for 10,000 years. Uh, our roots go back to pre uh, antediluvian uh, ages. So our culture has, uh, has values that are not trashy white. The, 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 the enduring values and our, our nation has endured uh, uh, thousands of years. Uh, I, I, I do think of myself as Iranian. Uh, anyhow, well, thank you very much for being in my YouTube channel. Please uh, uh, subscribe and leave comment, all that. <laughs> thank you.